right, so I'm heading up to a bridge up here, and I'm going to see if I can get some sheep. So it's it's pretty early in the morning. This is uh, 5:32, so I think we're about about 28 minutes before sunrise right now. Just going to go ahead and uh, drive up there. All I have is shrimp today. It should be all right. Fiddler crab has been kind of hard to get recently, and uh, I don't really feel like going out on the beach and trying to get sand fleas. So, we'll see how it goes. So we're going to get started out here. This is the uh, setting that we're looking at. I'm going to fish some of the pylons on this bridge. See how it goes. It's definitely a nice day out. I know there's some structure down below me right here. This is where the uh, the old bridge is. So I may come back out here with my um, my flounder set up and see how it goes. There we go. Little speckled trout. Good morning. Come on, baby. Okay, so the trout are here. I'll catch a couple little trout. That could be pretty fun. That was a nice little way to start the morning right there. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit closer to the big bridge with this and see how that goes.
There we go. <sighs> That's my first red this year. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally. Man, what are we looking at here? All right, on 18. Look at you, man. Pretty damn fish, man. I've been out to this spot before. I used to fish uh, <laughs> back a while ago. I used to fish right on that pylon right there. Um, I've actually pulled an all-nighter there before. And uh, had a lot of fun. Didn't catch much. It'd be crazy if I started pulling in some fish on this spot just because I'm on a kayak with a popping cork. But, uh, Kind of just goes to show what a little bit of experience is worth. He's running toward me. Come here. Come here, baby. I don't think you're big enough. Settle down. Settle down. I knew that was a weird hit. Nope. You are not at all big enough. And of course you took that thing down about as far as you could get it, huh? Yep. This is gonna suck, man. Good. Good deal, man. Okay. So that's wrapped around my arm now. Nice. Alrighty, well, go on, get bigger. Nice, there we go. <laughs> Damn, this is a rich fishing spot, man. I'm liking this. So far I've caught a uh, flounder, a trout, and a redfish here. I just hit a rock right there. Yeah, that's the only problem with this spot is the rocks. <sighs> Shoot. Kind of the shitty part about fishing these conditions.
Well, damn. I got myself into a crappy situation back there. I uh, <clears throat> got my, well, I lost my my lure on a uh, on a tree stump, which was underwater that I didn't see. And almost immediately afterwards, trying to get out of the situation, I uh, ran my boat into the ground or into a rock. I bent one of my fins on my pedal drive. And uh, I just had to pull it out and do some emergency repairs on it, basically. So uh, that was complicated. But getting ready for the sun, basically, right now. Because I'm finally starting to get some sunshine coming in. So I got to get myself covered up, get my gear together, you know, get my sunglasses on and all that. So... I'll be back to the fishing here in a couple minutes. Alright, so we're turning in. Things uh, didn't go too well after the tide shifted. A lot of it slowed down. I'm not really feeling like jigging at the moment, so it is uh it's 12 so I gotta turn it anyway. Get this day wrapped up. Yeah, this is a pretty good spot. I'll definitely be back here again. Things to note were uh high tide. High tide was good. As soon as that tide dropped, everything slowed down. nice to walk again. Whew, dang. It's always a little bit challenging. today. 
got all my gear together. No fish coming home with me this time, but uh, that's all good. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything put away. I'm tired. So I'm pretty happy with how today turned out. Um, I got the trifecta, you know, one of each of the main species that you catch around here. The redfish, the flounder, and the uh, speckled trout. You know, I could have gotten a black drum, but I wasn't really, uh, they don't really hit the popping cork. They usually kind of sit and they'll, they'll pick up stuff like, uh, like the shrimp and the clams and things like that. So they're more of a, of a bottom feeding, not, not too active from my experience. Maybe in other places they are, but uh, I haven't had much with that here. It's, it's all been with the shrimp. I'm a little bit upset that I spent $20 on gulp. Uh, <laughs> I bought the big tub of it. Um, I think I'll have some good luck with that for flounder down at the south end. Um, I might end up trying to uh, go around and jig the bottom there. It'll probably be a lot easier than jigging where I was jigging today. Um, Honestly, I tried it a couple of times. I got one hit, and as soon as it got hit, the tail got pulled off, which is kind of standard practice for a gulp in my experience. Um, I think they're manufactured to fail because they're so expensive. But everybody says buy gulp, so I bought gulp. Kind of wish I had. Looks like there's a nice big storm coming in. Looks like I got in just in time. Um, get back home clean myself up because I smell like shrimp pretty bad but um, yeah today was another win for the popping cork man the voodoo shrimp on the popping cork I don't know what it is about it but man do they love it 